So this was kind of just a last minute idea on my part because I was just going to do making eggnog, different eggnog from different people, Leandro's, George Washington's, Greg's, you know, the real drinkers of America. And I thought I already bought all of these. The original plan I had kind of fell apart. So I might as well try it. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do <laughs> is uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna do exactly what it says on the bottle. If it says straight, we're gonna drink it straight. If it says chill, we're gonna chill it. If it says shake, we're gonna shake it. And uh, got my shaker just in case. So let's see, we're gonna start with this one. The Christian Brothers Holiday Eggnog. Uh, Shake well, serve chilled, refrigerate after opening. All right, we're gonna pour some, and I know they don't mean in a shaker, but I'm gonna do it in a shaker anyway. Here, let me get all these out of the way. So, I'm not measuring it, I'm just gonna try it. Let's get our ice. And, uh, yep. Oh, that's a lot on my hand apparently. Strain and see. I probably should have double strained it, but it doesn't matter. Oh, this is really a bad strainer. Hey, the Christian Brothers Holiday Nog. The nose is deceiving. It doesn't have that thickness you expect with an eggnog. It's very milky. There's some... There is something there. There's something there. It, it tastes almost like a cinnamon flavoring, like artificial cinnamon. It's weird Sherminison taste in there. You try it, tell me what you think. It doesn't taste like eggnog at all. It tastes like the milk after a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Disgusting. I don't mind this one too much. I wonder how it is just straight. Oh. It's acetone just straight. Shaken. Hello? Okay. This one's not bad. It, there, it, it's like the name of an actor that you just can't remember, but you see his face. It, there is a flavor in there that I can't quite grab. Maybe it is just the knockoff cinnamon. Uh, finest brandy, natural eggnog flavor, certified color, my favorite, FDC and yellow number five. It's okay, there's actually no cinnamon in here, so it makes sense that it might be that off flavor. Okay, litmus test, center. Not great, not terrible. This one just says shake well, it doesn't say chill, serve, nothing, just shake well. We're doing a buzz ball. I'm not, I don't need the shaker. All right, just shake well and serve. Buzz ball. This just consistency of water. Whew. It smells like hand sanitizer. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, it smells like hand sanitizer and it tastes like nail polish. It tastes like water that you rinsed out a cup of milk with and then just squirted nail polish remover in it. This is terrible. Last. Last. Next, Zachariah Harris Eggnog. Eggnog with straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Bottled in Glenmore Distillery, Louisville, Kentucky. Enjoy straight or on the rocks. On the rocks it is. Okay, give it a sniff. Oh. That's thick. That's spicy. That's not bad. It kind of tastes like alcoholic pancake batter. Give me the shaker. I, I have a feeling this is going to be well improved by a couple of stern shakes. Let's see, look at that. It's pasty. It's pasty AF. Oh. Get it aerated, kind of more loosened up. Nope, yep, that somehow made it worse. A lot, there's heavy vanilla in there, which is weird for an eggnog. Usually you expect some cinnamon, nutmeg, not vanilla, brownie, brownie, waffle batter. Uh -uh. It's bad, but it's not as bad as the buzzball. God bless, that was terrible. Old St. Nick's eggnog. No instructions. No instructions on Old St. Nick. Whew. That's the consistency we're looking for. It's the color, mostly. That's, ugh. again, it smells terrible. The taste on the other hand is not bad. Again, I feel like all of these will probably benefit from a shake and chill. So we're gonna shake it up. This shaker is terrible too, by the way. Don't ever buy one of these. I bought it as a gimmick once, and uh, I hate it. It's awful. I feel like it's going to blow out at any second. Okay, see? It's already coming. See, that's not bad. No, this one's really not bad. It's almost like, it tastes almost like a Tom and Jerry. It's got that heavy thickness to it. But it, the flavor profile is just about right for store-bought eggnog. And I'll bet you that's all this is. The local store-bought eggnog with uh, rum added to it. So, huh. Yeah, you're going right to the front. Not bad. And then finally, the one I kind of have the most hope for is the Evan Williams. Chill and enjoy. Okay. I, all of these are kind of getting some benefit from a shake, so I'm going to shake this one too. I don't recommend anybody taste these out of the bottle, so I'm not going to be the first one to do it. I'm not even bothering straining it anymore. Leave the ice in. That's 
pretty good. A little more creamy than I would really like. I'm not getting any of the alcohol in it. Uh, holiday tradition, blended with Evan Williams bourbon, other fine spirits, holiday spices. Yeah, there's, you can kind of get the muddling. Uh, if I'm being honest, a lot of these are really surprising on how good they were, except for those two. Those two are terrible. These were surprisingly pretty damn good. The Evan Williams. Yeah. These two, I think, are tied. The Christian Brothers and the Evan Williams, I'm pretty sure, are tied. The St. Nick is just rum and eggnog, which is great. And these taste like nail polish remover. But now I'm going to show you how to make some actually good eggnog. All right, let's start with the Greg Nog, and that's Greg from How to Drink, by the way. And I thought it would be smart and pre-pour everything, so we're gonna do two ounces of Baker's 107, and then we're gonna do a half an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino, and then a half ounce of my two to one ratio simple syrup right into the shaker. One whole egg, yolk not separated, right into the shaker, and everybody should by now know what it means when you put an egg in a cocktail. You gotta dry shake it. You have to dry shake it. I don't know why, but you have to. It's just a thing you do. And dry shakes will usually blow out on you, but don't worry about it. So I obviously cut a good portion of the shake out. Now you throw the ice in and shake that. And I did it upside down because I'm a dummy. And generally when you do this kind of stuff, you want to add the egg first so you don't get any shells and ruin the spirits, but eh, I, I forget. So pour that into the Sinatra says comma club glass. Lovely. Get as much out of that as we possibly can. And we're going to top it up with some whole milk right on the top. And it's fitting that this one's first, but you'll see why at the end. I'm going to grate some fresh nutmeg onto it, and then we're going to add just a little bit of orange zest. Orange. <laughs> Haven't you seen an orange before? Just a, just a little bit of the orange zest. And that is the Greg Nog. And now we're going to do our best, well, my best, to recreate the eggnog from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The uh, one that Clark's, Clark Griswold drank out of the moose cup. And it said beat egg whites to still peaks. And I didn't have anything to do it so I tried a milk frother and it worked mostly it just took and I'm not exaggerating like five minutes so I sped it up this is like 500% sped up this part kind of sucked but it, I guess it worked you know fine D double and triple checking we're gonna put a little bit of uh, sugar right on the egg yolk I believe that was about two teaspoons about a half or no, I'm sorry, two ounces of milk. About two ounces of heavy cream. And then we're going to get the booze involved. The booze, booze. Two ounces of bourbon, some pretty heavy pours on that one. I, I, I don't have the ingredients in front of me. They will all be down below, though. Two ounces of bourbon. I used larceny for that. And I believe it's going to be a little bit of salt. And then two ounces of rum. Now, usually my go-to with rum is plantation in one way or another. Because plantation is very good. And then we're going to add these to our shakers. And these, by the way, are the superior shakers. Hi, yo. The superior shakers, I like these much more than cobbler shakers. The double tin cobbler shakers tend to lock up on you. But we are doing an egg, so we're going to dry shake. As you can see, that one blew out on me. We're going to dry shake that up. 
right now we're gonna put our ice in. Shake that again. And now we are going to fold our spirits in with the still beaten egg whites. And that just means mix it together, and we're gonna do that. This is the Griswold egg knife. I wasn't a huge fan of this one, sadly. Now here we're gonna try Leandro from Educated Barfly and his recipe for one off eggnog. We're gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce of heavy whipping cream, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, homemade again, two to one ratio. And as you can see, I'm trying to show you here, it's starting to crystallize a little bit. If you have this issue, you can just shake the hell out of it, run it under hot water. If you do it properly, the two to one ratio properly will never grow mold, but it may crystallize but there's ways to handle that. Then we're gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce of Smith & Cross London Jamaican rum, uh, excellent rum. And one you will see used again in this one because a lot of eggnog recipe comes from olden times when the best rum they had was Jamaican rum and it was readily available. 100 proof old granddad bonded bourbon uh, three quarters of an ounce of that as well old granddad for all the bourbon people out there you guys give it a bad rap it's it's fine and it'll work it, it'll be fine then we need a dash of nutmeg and then a dash of shermanison to follow that one up see just a dash and then we need one whole egg. Put the egg right in the thing. Put the thing in the thing. I got, I started to wise up here a little bit and started cracking the egg in a different shaker. That one kind of broke apart on me, but it's fine. It did the job. Okay, toss that shell away and then we are going to dry shake. Take a look at this delicious concoction coming through though and that looks pretty damn good to me and we're gonna add our ice in and shake the hell out of it again now we're gonna strain it out this was a very very good eggnog I, I really like this one Now we're going old school. We have the original Jerry Thomas recipe, and as you can clearly tell, all of the eggnogs were kind of, they were kind of hitting the button. I'm just making a little bit of a mess. We need two bar spoons of sugar, and I think I'm going to, uh, to start yelling about the next ingredient here in a minute. That uh, was very... Yeah, it was an ounce of water. Then I believe two ounces of heavy whipping cream, or heavy cream as they were just calling it, G dairy fat, more or less. Four oh, right, this was four ounces. I forgot, this drink called for four ounces of cream. So this thing was cream, egg, and booze, which on paper sounds pretty good, but uh, in practice, not, not exactly the case. It was bad. Uh, we're using Rittenhouse Rye 101. Uh, two ounces of this stuff. This my go-to rye when it comes to stuff like this. Can never go wrong with Rittenhouse Rye. Two ounces of that. And I believe one ounce of aged Jamaican rum went with Plantation. Aged five years. Toss that in there. And then we're going to crack our egg into a separate tin to uh, eliminate any shells or anything getting into the stuff because, hey man, we're all drinking, we're all having fun, and things can happen, which is why you strain, double strain, dry shake, you cover all your bases, especially when you're working with eggs. 
So you shake the hell out of that dry, and then you bring it back around and give it a hard shake with ice. Bingo. Clap. Shake. And here we are straining it into, I believe, was one of my anniversary gift glasses. And this is the Jerry Thomas. The oldest, the oldest recipe uh, printed, I believe. This one wasn't too bad. Very loud. And now we are going with the George Washington recipe. We need two ounces of VSOP. Any VSOP would work really brandy, high-end stuff. You think George Washington drank Hennessy? Maybe he probably would have. All the founding fathers were booze heads. I don't think people really understand that. All of them were. They were shit-faced trashed all the time. We're going to do two ounces of aged rum. Again, the Smith & Cross. This stuff really works well as a mixer. I am very happy with the outcome of this. Or, I'm sorry, that was one ounce of Smith & Cross rum. And we're going to do one ounce, and I believe the death of the Rittenhouse rye. Uh, so, one ounce of rye whiskey. And I pared this down. This is to make a punch. And, uh, look, ounces are substituted for pints. Okay, that was supposed to be two pints of brandy, one pint of... Uh, bourbon or rye one pint of rum so we just kind of pared it down to ounces now we need a quarter ounce of sherry which I didn't have so we're using uh, Antica vermouth it's fine does the job and we're gonna add our egg in normally would be a dozen eggs but again we're pairing it down to one serving so this is gonna be one cracked egg right in the sauce right there Beautiful crack. Pour it in. Mix it about. And then give it a good heart. Oh, I forgot. I forgot here and there. About a half an ounce of heavy cream. And then a half an ounce of whole milk. So one and one. And now we're going to add the egg in. Remix that all back up. And then give it a dry shake. Throw the ice in, give it a hard shake, and then strain it. And let me tell you, this one was just pure booze. There, there was almost no eggnog goodness in this. For some reason, the, the Antica really shone through. This one was not great. I finished it, but it was not great. Different palettes back then, I guess. And there it is. And the Sinatra says... Comma glass. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I'll give you the rundown from the top down on what was my favorite. Uh, the Gregnog, probably the Maraschino, really carries that drink. Then I'd have to go Leandro's. The George Washington was pretty good, but I'd say it's about on par with the Jerry Thomas sign of the times. My least favorite is probably the Griswold eggnog out of the ones that you just watched. I had to do different camera views. But out of the one you just watched, the, my least favorite was probably the Griswold. The, the texture and folding of the still peak frothed eggs, not a fan, not a fan. And it was a lot of work. The salt really threw that one off. But it goes that and then this. So if you're gonna make a bunch if you're going to do that, if not, get one of these three. You'll be fine. Or like that. You'll be fine. But have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy the holiday. Please like, share, do all that stuff YouTube enjoys, and I'll see you in the second one. Next one. The next one.